So let's get started. As you can see, I'm naked. Uh, <laughs> so we want to start by creating a nice base for our makeup. Uh, wash, moisturize with what you normally would use. And then the first step um, to keeping the makeup on all night, I would recommend using a primer on your eyelids. Um, I actually use this product, which is the, um, from Urban Decay. Um, it's the primer potion. Um, you just put a little bit on your eyelids, rub it in, and I would recommend to let it sit, uh, let it go in for a few minutes if you can. Um, it's really great. Basically what a primer will do, um, will create a layer that sits between the natural oils and sweat that you're going to generate from your skin over an awesome night of dancing, um, and your makeup, and it sits in the middle and it makes them not mingle and like run all over the place. So I think that that's kind of my secret weapon to make my makeup stay all night. Um, <laughs> Then what we're going to do is work on our eyebrows. So if you don't want to do yours like this much, if you don't need to, because you've got beautiful, beautiful brows. Number one, I hate you in a nice way. Um, <laughs> but don't worry, just do your brows how you like. Um, but I think one of the kind of things of looking at vintage photographs and things is that people did have nice and defined brows. And they had this sort of um, nice up shape until mid pupil and then down, it's kind of classic, I guess, eyebrow shape. Get an eyeshadow brush, or your finger, or one of those little foam guys if you want. I tend to like brushes nowadays, but I'm going to go in with this kind of, I'm going to go with the lightest colour, so get a nice uh, pale colour. And this is actually an iridescent, the only iridescent shade in the palette, if you don't have it. Something nice and maybe a little bit sparkly. Um, because this is going to be sort of a little highlight colour and we're going to put this in the inside of our eyeballs. And this is going to open our eyes up. Also going to lay that down just underneath the eyebrow. We've just nicely drawn on. Um, and I'm going to take another colour. It's like a slightly yellowy tone, but quite a light colour. And I'm going to place that on the rest of the eyelid. So we've done the inner corner with the iridescent. Now we've got a another pale colour but a matte, slightly yellowy tone. So I'm going to go in with this tone here, the um, light brown, it's called Naked 2. Um, we're on a blending brush. I'm going to go in with our mid colour and we're going to go and find our eye socket bit that goes in and have quite sort of deep set almost hooded eyes so I find it quite easy to find on me and as you can see there we're just adding in where natural shadow would be and this is great if you don't have particularly deep set eyes um, with a line or anything um, <laughs> you can actually create more depth by using painting your face basically so I'm bringing that quite high up just to below where we did, because this is the lightest tone. Below where we put our highlight. As you can see, I'm doing this kind of windscreen wiper C shape. Gonna take the same colour on the same brush. Look down. Put a little bit under the eye. Like so. Gonna just darken that up a little bit in the crease to create more shadow, because um, we're on a night out. In the daytime, this is kind of what I wear for work, um, with just some mascara on now, and that would be kind of good with a bit of concealer under the eye, but um, as we're going out in the evening, I'll just darken it up a tad. Um, and we're gonna go in with the darkest brown called Faint. Just taking it on a, I'm using a different brush, just because I wanna keep my light blending brush light. And we're just going in just to the crease. This time, I'm not bringing it right up here like I did with the lighter brown. I'm leaving it here in the crease. And that's how um, we can get a very natural sort of smoky eye, I guess, but. A gradient of color. These brushes are lovely and soft. So um looks like I'm doing quite a bit of working but I'm holding it, ve I'm not sort of crushing it, I'm literally the tip. I'm holding it quite close to the end of the brush as well. Nice and gentle on your delicate eye area. Great, I just put a tiny bit of the darker on the outside of that, just the very outside of the bottom of the eye. 
again, not not a lot, I'm not bringing it into the middle this time either. So the next step is going to be our eyeliner. We're going to create a quite a small but uh, beautifully formed, hopefully, <laughs> uh, classic vintage uh, flick, like to create that cat eye shape. To create the shape, we're going to start at the inner corner, get our brush as close to the lash line as possible, draw a line. Sort of tracing the bottom of your eyelashes. Coming up in a little. Arch shape. And then when we get to the end, we'll create the flick. Follow, the principle I like to follow is to continue the shape of your bottom, the bottom of your eye, continue the shape of your bottom, no, um, continue the shape of the um, bottom uh, angle of your eye upwards. We're just going to do quite a small flick. Just draw a little line. Like so. Then we're simply going to join it up in like a swoopy line. We're going to join it up with that line we've just created. Voila on one side. comes to the end, continuing the angle of your bottom eyelid and joining it up. You sort of create a little triangle and colour it in. I put that. Next stage, uh, mascara. Tip, uh, look down into a mirror so you don't splodge it on your eyelid. Usually I do splodge it on my eyelid anyway, but <laughs> the intention is to avoid that. The awesome faces you pull putting in your mascara. Eh? Now, an extra trick to make eyes look nice and open wide and awake and bright, even though we've just finished work, ah, and we've got like an hour to get ready, um, <laughs> is to get um, a white eyeliner pencil. Looks a bit freaky, not for the squeamish. Yeah, as you can see, I'm just sort of pulling down my lid a little bit, and I'm drawing very carefully, using the side of the pencil on my waterline. So you can see that creates like quite a nice wide open eye look. So next step is to move on to the skin. Now I actually don't wear a lot of makeup on my um, skin. I don't wear it, well, in terms of I don't wear a foundation on my skin um, in daily life or actually when I go out dancing just because um, I find that it does move around a lot. I have quite oily skin, so. Um, if you do want to wear foundation, again, I would recommend using a primer. I'm not going to use that today. I'll show you what I do um, instead. Now, I love these, this concealer. It's the um, collection. I'm just going to take that. It's a liquid concealer. Just going to put a little switch, a roux of that under the eye, down the centre of the nose, and a tiny bit on the chin, like the high points of our face, basically. Just a little bit. It's not as much as it maybe looks. But And then I'm just going to take, this is a... Um, Real Techniques foundation brush. Um, I really like using these ones. And um, very gently, just work it under the eye. You want to take it under the eye like this and down the classic triangle shape. It's made famous by the Kardashians, I believe. If you put a lighter colour here, it's supposed to just widen up and brighten up the face. 
I also like to cover my nose, I've got large balls on my nose, sorry. Um, so I do actually just brush it all over my nose, concentrating on the, the middle, the high point. Same on the other eye. Underneath, just it's almost like a bit of an eraser for your um, the eyeshadow that we applied earlier in quite a rush. Just kind of gives it a bit of a, not that we want a sharp line, but it, it just tidies it up. Make sure you're getting all the crannies. Then just on the chin, because again, it's a bit of a high point on the face. Then what I like to do is, all importantly, is to set that. Um, I use the MAC Mineralize uh, Powder. Get a bit of, a little bit of product, a bit of a tap, down the centre of the nose, sweep under the eyes, gently, across the chin. Just going to add a bit of contour to the face. Um, this is the uh, NYX Powder Blush in uh, taupe. Very gently with this, bit of product on the brush. We're going to create a contour um, by creating this shade under the cheekbone. So if you find your cheekbone, you can do it with the edge of a brush. Oh yeah, you can see that side better. Just creating a bit of a shadow. And then I like to blend it up a little bit into the temple, which is another you want to basically put the dark colour on the low parts of your face, so we've sort of put a bit brighter down the nose, under the eye, the high, and then the chin. Uh, the high points now we're just putting some sort of darker shade in just to create more angles to the face. I'm going to have a bit of blush now. Um, I use a uh, MAC blush, I've had this for ages, Real Techniques blusher brush. So I'm going to have a bit of a smile, but not gentle smile. Um, and it's going to go on the apple of the cheek. Again, I like to blend it actually in up, like so. Next up, we're going to just do um, this lipstick. I'm going to go for quite a bold pink. One final thing, and it's kind of my sort of trademark look. I actually have a little um, freckle there, and I just colour it in with a bit of eyeliner, and that's kind of like a nice little rockabilly sort of touch. And I do that, I try and do that most times when I go out, it's my little thing. So play around, do what you feel like. But yeah, here's a super simple, very quick uh, go to vintage look that I do when I go out dancing. Ta da! Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please click the thumbs up below and subscribe. Um, I've got a few more ideas for some videos that I want to do just to share some other hair ideas with you, um, specifically for suitable for dancing. Uh, so yeah, thanks very much guys and see you soon. Bye.